What up? Jeff here with all my Bitcoin renegades. And today is all about discounts in crypto. Where are the biggest discounts in crypto right now? And I make these videos in the last couple days that are just seven to six seconds long, six to seven seconds long. Um, and they basically are really simple videos that just show buy at the bottom, sell at the top. Now, is that easy to just to say or is it easy to do? Well, if you follow this video, it's easy to do. Because watch, I'm going to show you how to do it. All right, let's go in Algorand, let's say, at first. Okay? Now, this is not just a particular crypto I'm going into. I'm just going into any crypto right now. Now, let's look at this. We just have, as you see, a V-shaped possible recovery. But then it didn't work. It actually is almost back down. To me, that means it could possibly go a little bit lower. So what I would do is I would watch Algorand for the next hour or so, and I would decide where the bottom is going to be. Now, Algorand was just over $2, not even that long ago, a couple days ago, and now it's at $175. So the, the big money that just went into this um, is the reason it went to 204 So... All that money did not leave Algorand now. So all that stuff is still being done in the project, but now you can get it at a bargain price, a discount Algorand price. So that's what I did. You know how I bought some yesterday and I'm like, okay, if it goes up, I'm good. And if it goes down, I'm just going to buy more. And then boom, it went down and I bought more. <laughs> so that's how you do it. You wait for these dips. You dollar cost average into the dips. You don't even, say if you had a thousand and you saw it at like 177, say you put 300 bucks in at 177 and then it drops to 175. Put another 300 in there at 175. And then if it goes even lower, put more in or if it starts to go up, put it in right there, the rest, right? So that way you get as close to the bottom as possible because trying to hit that bottom is hard. So if you divide your money up that you're going to spend on that crypto anyway and just put it in a couple hours apart on a, on a, a downtrend, you could possibly even hit the bottom, the very bottom. Now, you might have a couple prices above the bottom, but you might get lots of good prices on the way down. So look, it's going to 174. So we're having a hard time keeping our uh, levels right here. So this is kind of scary. We just went down a ton in crypto, but nothing to worry about. Yeah, it gets scary when the price falls because you lose money. But if you think about where we are in the bull market, now we're almost at Christmas time and this is always the biggest time of year for crypto. So we might be having these temporary dumps now for whatever reason, probably because what's happening in the world. I'm not going to go into that, but we need to be strategic still and think of the past because I was just mentioning that I called the all time high by one day. If you look at my past videos, 18 months, I did a video that I looked 18 months ago and then I was like, okay, May 20th, 2020 is when the happening happened. 18 months exactly after that will be November 11th. November 11th, exactly 180 days later. Or 100, no, sorry, not 180 days. 18 months later, which is 365 days and 180 days. So that's 3, 465, 545. 545 days. So... That's pretty cool. Um, and we hit the all-time high within one day of those calculations. Because 18 months after the halving is the all-time high. But it might even go higher because, yes, it is a different market this year. And we might have our all-time high in December. We might even have it in January if we don't get it in December. Now, we are going to have another all-time high. This is not the end of the bull market, in my opinion. I've been pretty good at calling things uh, throughout my journey in crypto over these last 
18 months that I've been in crypto and the last six or so months that I've been on YouTube. So I just really appreciate you guys. If you haven't already, consider smashing that like button. And if you want more information on the times to buy and sell crypto on the dips and on the pumps, then you know consider subscribing to the channel. I have a lot more information. I'll make a lot more videos um, detailing each individual crypto and so on and so forth. So as you see, the graph is at a, such a discount. It just went to 85. As you see, that is a beautiful dip right there. Um, it is starting to recover a little bit from there back up to 86. But it could even continue down further. When you look at the chart, it is on a downtrend. It does look like it might have you know, started to recover a little bit. But then it kind of folded over and then it's starting to go back. We'll have to watch it. I mean, there's just too much going on that we don't know to say if this is the bottom or not, but it is a discount price. So in the bull market, this is going to be a good purchase for me. Um, now I like to get this at a dream level price of like 67 cents, but anything under 90 is beautiful, beautiful prices. I love it. Now I want to get into one of my favorite cryptos and it doesn't hurt so bad that it's down because I have it in long-term staking and I know the long-term effects of this project are gonna be amazing. So we went from 41 all the way down to 30, 36. Oh my goodness, I would have loved to have bought it there. There's some serious support here at 36, 37 dollar level that I don't think is gonna break anytime soon. I've not seen that level break and it is a good level. And these are beautiful, almost dream level prices for the internet computer price in a bull market, guys. Now, this is dream level prices. So, you have to get excited about dream level prices in a bull market. Now, these are like bear market prices. I'm not lying to you. Look at this. These are bear market prices. Look at this. This is a bear market right here. 30 to 40 bucks, right? Well, look where we are. 36? What? So you could buy this crypto and go ride it all the way up to 750 bucks if it tops out again this year? What? At the, this is our dream level prices. I just can't. I am getting more. I have to get more right now. So after this stream, I think I'm going to add at least one or two more ICP. Maybe more. I don't know. Uh, I just have to get more of it. At these levels, these are dream level prices. I got to hurry before it goes back up. Now, uh, that's pretty important to me because I want to throw it in my staking and get more uh, rewards out of it. And then six months later, I can decide, hey, if the price is down, I'm going to restake them. And then if the price is up, I'll just take my profits, wait till it goes down, buy more. So there's a lot of ways you could do it or I could just stake it for the eight years. There's a lot of different things that you can do to make profits in um, internet computer price. Oh my gosh, 30, 3603. Okay, that's a little bit worrisome. What just happened? Now, if it, okay, don't do that to me. Don't do that to me because if we break this $36, $37 support, where do we go from there? Oh no, dude, like where do we go from there? That is not, dude, I hope we don't break. I don't want to find out where we go from there. Where do we go? We go to like 20, 30 and 28? Ooh, those aren't good. Yeah, if we break, it goes to 33 next. 33 and then 30. Ooh, please don't break on us. But um, also want to get dream level purchase prices. So please stay around like 36. Don't go below that because then you break support on us. And we don't want you to break support on us. Because if you do that, then, oh my goodness. Then, then it's a little bit worrisome for the near future in a bull market. Going down to bear market, below bear market prices. That is worrisome to me. Um, a little bit if it does that now it hasn't done that. So we're not worried. No FUD. No doubt. We just we have to keep an eye on that level and if it goes to that level Get ready for the long-term hold <laughs> Because this is an awesome project and it's gonna go up. It's just right now We need for this very minute going forward in the next month or so to keep the price up we need to hold this support right here. That's what I'm saying. For the long term, it has absolutely nothing to do with the project because it's going to go up and up and up. But 
for the short term if you're trying to trade or if you're trying to you know, make money in ICP and buy at really discounted prices or if you're trying to stake and you just want to get as much ICP as you can to put in staking, these are the perfect prices to do it because most likely in six months or whenever a year or even if you set it for the next bull market in like three years, you know, do it like calculated possibly like 2023 sometime, uh, you know, because it could happen a year before uh, or 2024 actually. Yeah, 2024 uh, and then into 2025 will be the 18 months after the halving, right? So you got to get these at good prices and then long term stake them if you want to make a lot of rewards and then compound your interest by merging your maturity. Oh man, you can make a lot of um, financial freedom in the long run with ICP. So um, let's keep going. Um, I wanted to look at, uh, let's say, AMP. Now, this is the good thing about AMP that I never told you guys before. AMP holds its value really well in a dip. What does that mean? Well, a lot of the other crypto, you would lose a lot of money in a dip. As you see, a lot of crypto moves hundreds of dollars or several cents or however much, you know, the dip is going to be. Well, if you look here from the top to the bottom is barely 0 0.004. Zero, zero, four. That's all you would have lost out of your money. Zero, zero, 004 and then however much you had multiplied by how many you had multiplied by the price. So... That's what it would be, just however many you had multiplied by the price, and then the difference of 0 0.004, right? And then minus that from all of them. So, or just multiply the price now by how many you have, right? And then you'll see how much you bought it for, and then how much you have now, and that's how much you lost, which would probably be a lot less than, say, Algorand, because Algorand went down. I hate using Algorand as a reference. Um, ooh, $1.72. Gosh, that's really hurting. Oh my goodness, a dollar seventy. Ooh, Algorand. Ooh, man. Ooh, Bitcoin down to fifty-two. That's why. Oh, dude, I'm so glad there's support. It almost broke the support. No wonder ICP almost broke support right here, cause Bitcoin went down tons. Dude, someone is massively manipulating Bitcoin right now. Massively. I mean, I have not seen Bitcoin go down this far in a long, long time. But actually, it's a good discount price to buy Bitcoin. <laughs> so these are looking good. I don't care. Uh, the bull market's not over. These are all buying opportunities. I get mad at some of the, you know, dips I have to face with these cryptos. Like they're way down to prices that um, I would have wish I would have waited to buy at. But they have done nothing but keep dumping on us after like a week of dumps. We had a whole week of dumping and then we had a pump and then a fake pump and then it just dumped again. It, you know why? Because it wanted a bunch of people to buy back in at those levels and then dump on them. I'm not going to lie to you guys. They are trying to take your money hardcore right now. They don't care about your Christmas. They don't care about your money. They want it. They want it in their pockets. And that's why they dumped the prices on us. Look, I just lost $200 in the, since I started this video. I've lost 200 bucks since I started this video. So that's how much this market is just dumping on us right now. It is just, I mean, it's only been 13 minutes and I've lost $200. That's basically more than a dollar. That's like 10 bucks a minute. I lost basically 10 bucks a minute. More than that, like 15 bucks a minute. $15 a minute. That is a lot to lose because guess what? Most people make $15 an hour and I just lost $15 a minute. So there's perspective for you, but these are awesome buy-in prices. The graph at 83 cents. Oh my goodness, man. I wish I would have saved uh, some of that money. I wasn't expecting. A d so I bought in this dump right here. See this dump? Yeah, I bought in this dump and then it started to go up just so more people would think, hey, the dump's over and then it really dumped on them. These are traps, dude. I'm telling you. These people are trying to take your money. I'm trying to help you get out of this cycle. These are perfect time to buy. Now that 82, that is the bottom for the graph. I'm telling you. It's not going below that unless Bitcoin keeps dropping to 48,000. 
Now it looks like they're trying to dump Bitcoin under 50,000 right now. It just went to 51, 640, and then all the way back up to 53,000 while we were talking. It's not going below that. There is so much support right there unless some power that be decides that they're going to dump all their Bitcoin right now at 50. Why would they do that though? At 51,000 when we were just at 57,000. Why would anybody do that? They wouldn't unless they're trying to dump the market even lower to buy in at a cheaper price. So it's all about strategy. And when you have a lot of money, you can move the market and your strategy affects the entire world. See how that works? Our strategy does nothing. Their strategy infects the entire market because they have a lot of money to move around. Now, I just gained $134 back like that. You see that? I was just at $9,800 and now I'm at $9,934. In one second, I got all that money back. That's what happened with Algorand. See, I was in a real bad mood because it just kept dumping on me and then it went all the way back up to 202. These dumps happen and you got to take advantage of them. It makes me a little bit mad that I thought I was buying at the bottom and it kept going down and down and down. Look, 11% and then the graph just kept going down and down and down. And um, luckily, I know internet computer price has some serious support right around here. I can't believe it got pushed down to 35, but it still held support because it would have to close below that in order to be detrimental to that um, support system at $36, $37 range. Now, 35 is pushing it to the very bottom. If it goes much below that, it's gonna break that support. I'm telling you, that support is on thin ice at 35, 66. So, you gotta be careful with that, but it did go back up, it held, yes! Okay, that's what we want to see. We want to see strong support at certain levels. And that's a good thing. That means that your money should be pretty safe in a bull market at at least 3566. So, that makes me a little bit more long-term, you know, safe feeling. Knowing that we just had a major dump and it held through the support. Our support held. Even though a lot of other supports broke. Now, the, why I'm saying this, why it's important, look at this support right here. This is support. This is what could have happened to ICP. This was a support level. Uh, this is why I bought right here at this dip. So I bought at 178 actually. Um, it dipped. Maybe it was this dip that I got right here. Yeah, this is the dip I got. 176, 170. And then it, it started to go back up. And I was like, yes. And then it dumped on me. So this is a level of support though. This is what I'm showing you. And then this was our last leg of the support right here. And it broke, so it broke down. Now let's go look at ICP and you can see, well, it did have that level of support too, but that was a higher level of support. And then it hit the lower level of support and held its own. See how you have levels of support? And if they get broke, see how far down this support resistance starts there? Support ended right here. See how far they go up and down? Like several cents or, you know, like almost a dollar on some of these. But yeah, as you see the top of the support, the bottom of the support broken. And then it goes way, way down. So we broke that support. This support held strong. It did push us to the limit. It pushed it to the limit, guys. If, if Bitcoin would have went down to 50,000 or 49, this probably would have broke that support. So thank you that that didn't happen. I got almost all my $200 back now. Um, that's the good thing. If you just hold, if you have diamond hands and you just hold through the dips and you dollar cost average, you buy the dip, all that worry goes away like a hot air balloon. It just floats away. And that's what I do. You got to talk yourself sometimes into not being upset at the dips, you know, especially when you buy in and then it dips on you again. You're like, I bought the dip, but then the dip really dipped on you after you bought the dip. And then, yeah, it just sucks. Like the dip that you thought was the dip wasn't the actual dip. And then the dip happened after the actual dip that you thought was the dip, but it was really the real dip. Yeah, <laughs> that kind of thing. So as you see, it's losing again. Dang it. I mean, it, it's like a roller coaster ride, right? It's like you just got to hold on sometimes and <laughs> hope for the best. Um, but these are all discount prices right now. 51 would have been a banging price 
for uh, Bitcoin at those prices. This um, 40, 40, what did it go to? 4,000, I'll bet you. Yep, 4,035, beautiful time to buy Ethereum. Algorand went all the way down to $1.70. You would have already been five cents in the profit if you would have bought at $1.70. Well, basically, I'm broke even now on my purchases on Algorand, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, it did go to a crazy low level, but these are still discount prices, actually a little bit below what I bought in at like 177. So it's still a little bit below my price, but not much. Um, so then the graph, man, it is a lot below my price. Um, I actually bought right here and then it decided it was going to go up and then dump. So it tricked me very, very well, but it's already back almost up to my price again. So um, I'm a couple hundred bucks in the loss. And I also made another purchase up here at like 88. So I have one at like 86 and one at 88. Yeah, it was 86. I remember now. So it was 86 and 88 that I have my purchases in at. So anything over 88, I'm in the profit on all of my trades. So looking good. 82 is a beautiful price. Lower than what I bought on. 85 is lower than what I bought in. See that? I bought in. Look, I'll even show you. Well, I don't think it'll show you the price because I bought it on Coinbase Pro. Yeah, it doesn't show the price, but you could do the math. Basically, it was, uh, I bought this at 88 cents and then I bought this at 86 cents. So there you have it. Um, good discount prices. Ooh, 84. It's going down again. Yeah, so, and so is Bitcoin. So watch these prices. You can get them at real discount prices. All right, I'm going to let you go so that you can um, get a lot of these cryptos, not financial advice, entertainment purposes, only common sense. All right, guys, that being said, you know what time it is. Goodbye and good Bitcoin. Bang!